I'm hoping for some real airtime here. Sean Rose oh. down. Nicely done, Ouch. That, that looked painful. Well, I guess I'm fired, so I'll get out of here. Slam. Oh. Oh, what a battering ram that was. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, Seven, did you write an email that just said boom? We're escaping the scene of the crime. Uh, I don't think anyone has made us. But... Oh, okay. There's... Uh... Yep, there's another target being evacuated to the safe room. I just love all the canisters around here. This place is stocked like a fireworks factory. It's amazing. Oh, here we go. Scenic Slurry Pond. Ah, why would you guys be hanging out here? It must be really stinky and disgusting. And he's hanging out there like it's a, like it's a beautiful duck pond. Okay, that didn't turn out to be quite the isolating tactic I thought it would be because she's now completely surrounded by guards. Yeah, get out of the way. No, don't. Oh. Get away from me, moustache man. Oh boy, that's a... That's a really bad idea to be smoking that close to an explosive. I mean, if, if I was wearing my explosive specialist outfit, I'd be telling you that's a terrible idea. This opportunity, I need an Interpol badge some id off that guy and um oh, there's a lot of people and a lot of clutter which is bad and good um what do we got there's a generator oh jenny over there and a dude who will see me over there all right she's moving now but again guards everywhere i think she's heading back to the house which is uh i mean not helpful yeah right okay that'll do Good enough. Okay. That looks dangerous. Don't... Don't smoke near it. Oh, don't... Oh, don't use your mobile phone next to it as well. That's a recipe for disaster. Oh. Oh, a creepy scarecrow. Why not? It's, uh... Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're in a farm, right? I guess that makes sense. Can I, uh... Can I be the scarecrow? All right, back in the house. Oh, there goes Sean Rose. Oh, through the kitchen, guys. Not very hygienic. Nope, still got the guards with her. Alright, here comes the lady. I hope she's got a cigarette hanging out of her mouth. Make be scarecrow, please. Cannot blend in. Too suspicious. Ah, there we go. I think someone was looking. Now! <laughs> yeah, suits you, 47. Does that help, though? Okay, so I've followed her around for ages. She does drink from this bottle of water, so I'm going to try and put some emetic poison in it that I bought from home. Oh, that guy's about to... Oh my god, oh my god, you ruined my whole plan. Still hiding. I mean, it's a brilliant hiding place, but I don't know if it's going to get the job done, 47, so um, dismount. Okay, let's see where she goes. Is she, what does she do? Are you throwing up in a plant pot? Okay, A, you, and B, that is no help to me whatsoever. There's still two bloody guards on the door. You silly man. I warned you about that. Did I not warn you? Down he goes. Finally. Choke someone out instead of punching them to death. And you, friend. That's quite enough from you with your walking around and noticing me. Here we go. Right, she's stopping in this orchard just to say hi to everyone. Big ears out there. Everyone who has guns. And will shoot me. Ugh. We're off to a rocky start. You know, because Colorado, rock, Rockies. Never mind. Penelope, hey. Hey. Penelope. Penelope. Penelope, hey. Hey. Penelope. Penelope, hey. Hey. Can we talk? Can we talk? Can you talk? Penelope. Penelope. I think, on balance, this orchard is probably going to be my best option getting rid of her because there's only two guys and there's a lot of hiding spots and ooh scarecrow costume all right what i could do having failed to set up my beautiful trap properly, i could just rig her greenhouse with the proximity mine 
Penelope. Hi. Penelope yes. Graves. Yes. I can't tell you about it here. It would be best to meet me by the slurry lagoon of corpse hiding. That I mean, that's that's what the locals call it. Okay. All right, I'm a scarecrow now. This is a bit serial killery. Forty-seven. I mean, if I was worried before with the trophies, this is starting to tip over into horror movie territory. Right. I'm just going to whack a proximity explosive like right here. In fact, I'll stick it under the. Stick it under the table. Right under the chair. Oh, that was an imprecise lock. For pity's sake, 47. Honestly. Okay, 47, you got a hot date at the slurry pit with Penelope Graves. And, oh, she brought her entourage. That's not cool. What about our date, Penelope? I'm just I'm going to meet you in this romantic cobwebby shed full of spiders and everything smells of slurry. Hey, good times. All right. Poisoned this guy while he wasn't looking, so time for the scarecrow murderer to strike. <laughs> I've, I've decided to just embrace it. I think decided to embrace that I am the night stalker of Colorado. My quest to kill everyone with death by explosion is not going well. I've got to admit. Oh, I see. Trying to turn her into a double agent. I mean, I'm pretending to try and turn her into a double agent, but it's actually a test. But it's actually an assassination ruse. Um, so yeah, uh, com so complicated. What's she gonna do? All right, one more guard in here. I think we're clear, so... Take him out. What was that noise? I'll go and investigate. I'll be right back. And then horror sounds. Start a gas leak. That'll do. Right, everyone start smoking when I've left. Thank you. Yeah. Shove off, you two. We've got to have a private chat by this slurry pit. I get the feeling 47's enjoying this a bit too much. What a horrible way to go. It would almost be better to kill her first, but that's not the opportunity. Bye bye. Oh, oh, that's a, a way to go, I want to say. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. All right. She has brought two guards with her, but I think I can probably just, yes. All right, and no one was any the wiser. See, that's not an accident, and they're gonna find her body. This is really gonna affect my score, but I literally couldn't find another way of getting rid of her. Can I just bloody just shoot this thing? There we go. One more? There we go. That'll do. Just do it the old-fashioned way. That's what I always say. The old ways are the best. Just shoot an exploding barrel while she's standing next to it. Right, one more guy to go. Let's do it. One more target. And it's this guy in the distinctive red shirt. That's excellent. Star Trek rules. Red shirt. Soon to be killed. I've been here, I estimate, about 40 minutes. <laughs> but I think finally we're okay. You're going to get rid of that? Excellent. There that goes. Third victim down. And I think probably time to surrender the Scarecrow costume 47. I know you love it, but it is the most conspicuous thing in the world. All right, one last. <laughs> Bunch of lab equipment. Is that a guard in there as well? Okay, there's a guard in there and one outside and the one in there will spot me. So... I can sneak in and take out the one in... Uh, 
Ah, so I don't have a key for this door. Hello? Hello? All right. We're going for the last target. Now, I've got intel that he's got some sort of weird drug torture room down in the basement. Uh, and he's got a sort of a drug lab up here where he's making the drugs. So I'm going to get in here. I'm going to fiddle with this stuff and see if I can do something oh. with that. You know, let's get rid of this guy first. Ah! No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Punch him! Punch him! There we go. We're fine. We're only compromised by this guy, and he's in a locker. So what's he going to do? I, I could maybe get this guard... Lure this guard away? Oh. What was that? Oh, that must have been when I set the stove up earlier. Yeah. Well, they're definitely not going to pin that one on me because I'm about a mile away now. Uh, he's got a creepy mask on as well. I don't know what that's about. Halloween? Yeah? Between the scarecrow and the creepy mask, we're all set. And then the spooky farmhouse as well, right? Pretty spooky. Okay. This guy... I'm going to follow you guys into the basement. Ah, uh, recorded by security. That's fine. It's fine. I mean, the stealth run was off the cards as soon as I bailed that dude, right? Just get some gas going on in here. And he's got a Bunsen burner. I think that's going to come in handy later. Right, so I could fizzle, fiddle with the fuse box. No, lure the guy away, fiddle with the fuse box. Then maybe the other guy will come out and unlock this door. And then I can get in and have a nosy round. Because they don't lock doors in Hitman. At all. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, we just... Can I... Can I... Okay. Is he wearing a mask? Like a Michael Myers mask? That seems unnecessarily creepy. And I, that's me saying that. I've spent the last hour dressed as a scarecrow murdering people in an orchard. So, distractions, distractions. Sure, fuse box. Classic. 47, sneaky, sneaky. Around these crates. There's only one witness. And he ain't gonna witness anything after I check him out. Oh, what is with you, 47? You're having an off day, right? Just can't choke out anyone. Just all about the punching. Oh, oh, that was inelegant. I don't know why I'm blaming 47. Just projecting my guilt onto a player character. All right, administer overdose, sure. I mean, that's my only option, so, uh, oh, oh. Is he dead? Um, <laughs> I hope not. All right, well. And you're, you're, you're gonna stand next to an exploding barrel. That is excellent news. So, listen, I've been thinking maybe the dose Wait for it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, and you as well. This farm is crate central and that's good for me. Right close this door so we can be alone oh or not fine oh Ezra hey ah oh he's getting away oh garot wire garot wire garot wire okay there we go <laughs> all right he's down brilliant oh no room in the crate uh, let's just drag him around by the garot wire for a bit yeah he's gonna mix up a new batch hopefully by turning on the Bunsen burner? Go on, Ezra. You're gonna need some heat. Oh, yes. All right. Now gain access to the tornado. Woo. Anything that was gonna work. Okay. Everyone down. Great. Now we just need to get into the tornado shelter, which I assume's in the basement. Right. Now I just need to get into his basement, I guess. Do a bit of investigating. Oh, just the perfect crime. There's a terrible accident in the potting shed. Now, I need to get into this bunker. And, oh dear, get Sean Rose's base. Where did I leave Sean Rose? Do I have to cut it off? Do I have, oh God, oh God, there's a guy, there's a man, there's a man. There's a man, oh, I've got my grot wire out. Oh, now he's dead. Okay, 47. That would be non-lethal if you weren't holding a rot wire. 47. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. Bio to gain what? Access, you need Sean Rose's body. Oh. Or something equally convincing. Yeah, I'm not sure there's much of Sean Rose's body left, Diana. Um, 
To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. Well, I'm not getting his body. It's miles away. I'll have to do. I'll have to think of something. So, Sean, Sean's in here. Let's get Sean's face. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe not. I just, I just climbed in on top of Sean's corpse. Oh, everyone, literally everyone in the house. They've all gone a bit. Oh, what's that? Ah. Oh. Oh my gosh. How did I avoid getting killed there? I kind of blew up Sean Rose, so there's not much of his face left. What there is, is a 3D printer with Sean Rose's biometric data on it. Uh, so once this jerk leaves, thank you, I'm going to turn that on. And it'll maybe print me a 3D Sean Rose face? I mean, it seems like a weirdly specific thing to have. Uh, no, there, there we are. There's a hot and fresh out the microwave Sean Rose face. Ha! Ha! 3D printed face mask because reasons. I don't know. Maybe it's like Mission Impossible. Okay. And away, 47. Yeah, nothing to see here other than a 3D printed face. Which I'm going to swipe now. Sweet. Okay. Okay, right. I want to be on the other side now of here. And I need to get back down the stairs. Oh my, this is so tense. Alright, I've got my eerie detached face. You gonna let me in? Excellent. Oh boy, it's a it's a crazy conspiracy room. One Sean Rose face. Not cut off his skull. Oh. Oh, wall of crazy. Biometric the face thing. Stick the, there you go. Easily fooled. And jobs are good and I mean I'm being pursued by everyone. But I'll take a moment to look at this weird conspiracy board thing. That much is clear. Locate exit. Found it. I found the exit, Diana. Am I am I good? <laughs> that is not an exit. That's just another basement room, 47. You're not getting out that way, I swear. Well, locate the exit, says Diana. Um, I think I can locate it. Is it this? Good. The long search is over. <laughs> All right. Exit mission. Yes. Escape tunnels. I have never been so pleased to see an escape tunnel because everyone in that house was after me well i can't wait to see my score uh -huh. oh one hit man is this because i bailed that guy by accident that seems unfair that was not that was an improperly labeled bailer never mind hey i'll i i can deal with that one hitman is better than no hitmans 19 people uh killed that i shouldn't have killed but that's fine um Probably in the context. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that actually. I know, I mean, I know it's zero, but uh, it's it's pretty good for me. Oh god, one stopped already. One hitman. Uh, I think I was just happy to get through that. That was a hard mission. All right, so that was Outside Xbox Plays Hitman's fifth mission, the Colorado level. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time.